There's something really special about music. Music connects us in a way that few other things do with our souls. It connects us with each other. It connects us with our past. Mozart and Bach and Verdi and Puccini, as well as Willie Nelson and Elvis Presley are great examples of God's handiwork. My name is Michelle Ruche, and I am professor of choral music here at Brunel University. Brunel's music program is highly specialized. Um, we offer studies in choral music, in vocal music, which includes opera, and in piano. The core of our curriculum is in classical music because once you have studied classical music, you have the skills to go out and do any type of music that you want to do. It seemed to me that if you're going to have a career as a professional opera singer, then there are a lot of things you need to know. It is. Um, in the best sense of the word, it is an extraordinary career to have. And the, the opera singers that I have known in 30 years in the opera business um, have all been really and truly extraordinary people, and that's what we're in the business of making here. I feel cradled. I work really hard to um, aspire and accomplish my goals and do all of these things, but I always have my music faculty right underneath me to help me. I have taught at several universities, and by far, Bernal's faculty are the most dedicated to student success and go out of their way to help their students become extraordinary human beings. It's not a competitive atmosphere. It's more of, it's more encouraging. But there is a level of excellence that is expected of you. And it's not like, well, too bad, figure it out. Um, when I go into my biology class and I hear Dr. Ruscha in my background going, that's not a hundred, that's not a hundred, and I, I want to do better and I want to do more. You have the opportunity to learn your operatic repertoire with somebody who has actually been in the business for almost 30 years. Um, I think this, this is something quite remarkable. It is about the type of people that are teaching here and that are working here and the type of students and the type of other women that you meet. A lot of time in the classrooms to observe teachers and um, it might seem like a lot at first glance but you really learn a lot when you're in those classrooms. We actually teach our fellow students. We have to prepare lesson plans and we have to teach them and have you perform and have you teach and have you write music and so you can be a well-rounded music student and so I feel prepared. I'm actually not a performance major, I'm a biology major, but I've been involved with chamber choir, been taking voice lessons, been able to do Broadway nights since my freshman year, and I've never felt um, like I wasn't as good as everyone else or that I was excluded from anything. That's been a really neat experience for me to be able to pursue my passion for the sciences, but to also be heavily involved in the music department. encourage their students to um, to support all the arts you know like I was on the tennis team and a music major and you know all my tennis buddies would come and listen to my recitals and we're always encouraged to support each other. Uh, we do classical music in the choirs and in the opera productions of course and then we also um, do multicultural music in the choirs. Um, we have a Broadway night where we do a Broadway you know type cabaret review. At Brunel, you have more opportunity to perform in those areas if you're a singer or a pianist, um, unlike other schools where you're having to share the stage with flautists and bassoonists and trombonists. 
You know, here it's, it's singing and piano. I feel like I've gotten so much performing experience here that as now as I prepare to go to graduate school, I have so many more things on my resume and wonderful experiences to put down. I got to play and sing on a recital and I just don't think I would have gotten that anywhere else. We have had first place winners at the Metropolitan Opera auditions. Our choirs have gone to the Georgia Music Educators conventions three times in the last five years. We've been invited to the Southern Convention of the American Choral Directors Association, which was a national invitation. Our choir is going to the Biltmore Estate this uh, December, this Christmas, for their Christmas by Candlelight, and then we're touring to California this spring. So there are just really exciting, fun opportunities here while you study. Because I get to perform so much, um, it's kind of helped me come out of my shell and, I don't know, be a more outgoing person. The people around you just encourage you to be that it's okay to be yourself, that you don't have to be a fake person around anybody. If you have a passion about music, whether you're totally formed by the time you get out of high school or not, or, or whatever totally formed is, um, there's something remarkable about the young lady or even the young man who says, this music thing really drives me crazy. I just love it. I want to know what I can do with it. The more I learn and the more I've been taught, the more appreciation I have for classical music and for other genres of music as well. When we are auditioning students, we are looking for students that have, you know, some, hopefully some background in music, but the main thing we are looking for is potential and seriousness of purpose. You can really get focused on what you need, and it can be something as elementary as, I'm just learning about music. I, I love it, I, I like hearing it, I think I could sing it, I think I could play it on the piano. That person is going to have a chance here at Brunel. I know that when I came in audition, they had to think, oh girl, please. You know, I know they had to think that, but evidently there was something they saw that they were like, oh, we can work with her. And we've had a lot of students who did not have the backgrounds that some people have, you know, that have not studied piano since they were four years old, um, but that have still come in and because they were willing to work and because the potential was there, have um, gone on to have very, you know, exciting careers in music. I think we have a more personalized approach to each student so that we can, we can assess what, what she's all about when she gets here. And so the person that maybe thinks she should sing has a chance to sing. The person that thinks, oh, I play the piano pretty well, there's a, there's a place for her as well. If she's, if she's eat up by this opera thing, that's a, that's a very special kind of talent that likes that. I want to go to Europe and I want to sing at the Metropolitan Opera and sing Wagner and wear horns and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. You need to know more than how to read music. piece of me that's been prepared to go to graduate school and go to all these places has been at Burnout. Because I came from a little bit of music, but here is where I really learned everything and I really do feel like I'm prepared to take on the world. Some of my closest friends, they're not science majors. You know, I'm able to be close friends with a lot of the music students, um, interior design majors, it doesn't matter. It can be very time consuming to be a music major and it can be very time consuming to be in a sorority. But each of the spheres knows enough about each other and appreciates each other's benefits enough that both groups have worked with me so that I can be part of both. There's different types of people here. There's, mm -hmm. And it's not like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't want to talk to you because you don't believe like I do. There is no better place to try it here. It's safe. You're not going to get kicked out in the first week if you don't measure up because we're, we're all just connecting. I mean, we're using music to connect ourselves rather than to uh, set up all sorts of boundaries and hierarchies that, that might just get in the way of learning. I knew that I loved doing chorus before I even came to Bernal, but coming to Bernal and getting all of this wonderful training has just shown me even more how much I love to do it. So. The women who come here are serious about their lives. They're serious about making a difference in the world. You have to be dedicated. If you want to make some of the best friends of your yeah. life and meet some of the nicest people, that you should come to Bernal. These are extraordinary young ladies. And I think, I think that journey towards 
that kind of life happens here from the very first day. I don't feel that I lack anything personally in my life. I can do whatever I want to do because I did it for myself. I'm not dependent on anyone else to fill a hole in my life. Your journey to an extraordinary soul.